name on your paper. First thing. Okay, here are the directions. Read the word problem, draw and label, write a number sentence and a statement that matches the story. Okay, so we need to read, draw, write. Here we go. This week, Maria ate five yellow plums and some red plums. If she ate 11 plums in all, how many red plums did Maria eat? Okay, ooh, she, there's 11 in all. Five were yellow. So let's, so we read the word problem. Now we need to draw and label. So she ate 11 plums in all. That's a big hint. There's 11 plums in all. There's my 11 plums. Maria ate five yellow plums. So we could circle these and label it with a yellow, with a Y for yellow. And then that would make these red. Now it says write a number sentence. So we had to do five plus, we didn't know how many red. We knew that that equaled 11 plums in all. So what goes here in the box? How many were red? Five were yellow, how many were red? There's five and one more, that makes six. So now we need a statement. So the right is write a number sentence and a statement. So here's our number sentence. Now we need a sentence to tell what happened. So Maria eight six red plums. Period. If you're not done getting all this down yet, you can always hit pause. I'm moving on to number two. Tatiana counted 14 frogs. She counted eight swimming in the pond and the rest sitting on lily pads. How many frogs did she count sitting on lily pads? Well, we know there's 14 frogs. And then there's eight swimming in the pond. Which means the rest are sitting on lily pads. So first we draw how many frogs there are in all, which is 14. She counted eight swimming. So here's five, six, seven, these eight. I'm gonna put an S for swimming. Which means the rest of them were the ones that she counted on lily pads. So I'm gonna put an L for lily pads. Okay, so we read the word problem, we drew it out and labeled it. 
So now we need to write a number sentence and a statement. So we have 14 equals eight plus, and then we didn't know, we didn't know the second add-on. So we know there's 14 total. There were eight swimming. Here are the rest on the lily pads. How many are on lily pads? One, two, three, four, five, six. So our missing number is six. So now we need to tell that in a statement. So we can say six frogs were sitting on really cats, period. If you need more time to finish that up, just pause it. I'm going to move on to number three. Here we go. Some children are on the playground. Eight are on the swings, and the rest are playing tag. There are 15 children in all. How many children are playing tag? Okay, so we know that there's eight on the swings and there are 15 in all and playing tag we're not sure I'm gonna put a question mark we don't know how many are playing tag I'm gonna go ahead and have the Draw out 15 children. Eight are in the swings. for swings. Which means the rest of these kiddos are playing tag. T for tag. So we read it, we drew it, we labeled it, and now we have to write a number sentence and a statement. So we have eight plus, we didn't know how many playing tag, and that equaled 15 children in all. Go ahead and put in how many kids were playing tag. And now we have to write a statement. There are, this is where you need to write in the number, children playing tag. Last one. Remember to pause it if you're not done yet. Here we go. Oziah read some nonfiction books. Then he read seven fiction books. 
if he read 16 books altogether, how many nonfiction books did Oziah read? Okay, so seven books are fiction. He read 16 books altogether. And so now we have to figure out the nonfiction books. We're not sure. I'm going to have you do this one on your own. You need to draw it, label it, write a number sentence, and write a statement that tells how many nonfiction books Oziah read. Put it in the done tub when you're finished. If you run out of time, put it in the to be finished tray.